Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. It's a Monday morning here at the convent and we must continue with the restoration of the flagstone floor in the hallway. So let's crack on.
It's going incredibly well, it's just tedious and slow. But so far so good. My new favorite tool for removing the concrete off the surface of these flagstones is this Ryobi multi-tool. The teeth this morning on this blade had, well it had teeth, and now it has no teeth. And it's still sharp. And all it's doing, it's getting under the surface, and it's just getting up all of that old concrete. So I'm gonna use this from now on, because it's amazing. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, well actually I've been using it between the joints as well and it's been loosening, loosening all the debris and I've been using the vacuum to just suck everything out of the joints. So we've got some nice deep joints now. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to mix up lime and sand without water and what we'll do is we'll bring the wheelbarrow in, we'll just dump it on the floor and we'll brush it into the joints and see what it looks like. And then to finish, everyone in the comments said, use a strimmer with a wire brush attachment. And that is a fantastic idea. I think we'll do that last. So let's go mix up some lime and sand and brush it in the joints and see what it looks like. So it looks great, but there's an issue. I'm gonna wet it now because obviously it won't set quickly if it doesn't have water. I used a three to one mix, so every three shovels of sand, I've put in one shovel of lime. But below a lot of these joints, there is an empty cavity still, and I want to fill it up completely and make a really, really strong joint. So if I wet it now, it's gonna, some of it's gonna fall down and be a lot lower than the rest of it. But what we can do, we can do it in two stages. So when this dries tomorrow, I can redo it again and it will fill the cavity completely and have a beautiful strong finish. So let's wet it now and see what happens.
So what happened is exactly what I thought would happen. A lot of the lime and sand mortar went into any cavity below and has actually filled it. So that's a great thing. So what we've got to do now is, once that's dry, put more on top, brush it all in, and then wet it again. And that should fill the cavity completely and have a really nice strong joint and an incredibly strong floor. And then tomorrow we'll move on to this other quarter that I'm currently sat on. And then we'll just keep moving through it until it's finished by the end of the week, ready for a special stone varnish. So it's like a stone varnish slash, slash oil, which is called Osmo Stone Oil. And you'll get a finish a little bit like this, but not too shiny. We want it more satin rather than really, really reflective like this. So yeah, it's gonna look amazing. It's worth the effort and worth spending all this time doing it. So thank you so much for watching this video today, everyone, and I'll see you all tomorrow.